Hey dudes, I'm going to show you how to use gradients in Inkscape. So let's open Inkscape. So the first thing you need to know is where the heck is the gradient tool? The gradient tool is right here. Or you can just press G. That simple. So there are two kinds of gradients. There's the linear gradient and the radial gradient. Let's click the gradient tool and let's click on the this one. This uh, create a linear gradient and let's select this diamond shape or a tilted square if anyone argues. Let's uh, click on this. You always need to click on the object or shape before actually creating the gradient. After we select this, just click and drag to any direction you want. Yeah, let's get crazy. Uh, let's uh, use the control key to make it uh, 15 degrees increment so it looks better. Duh. So let's make a radial gradient. But first we need to uh, deselect that so it, this doesn't muck up the gradient right here. <laughs> And let's change this uh, this linear gradient to this radial gradient. Click that, and click on the circle, and just click and drag. Yeah, that's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, that's how you make the linear and the radial gradients, just like that. But you will always have to customize it because this isn't really exact, as you can see right here. So, since I don't like these colors because it's just basically black to black transparent, I want to change the colors. So, you still use the gradient tool and click on the object you want to change the gradient colors in and select the nodes. Yeah, I call them nodes for some reason. Call the nodes and click on them and change the color of them. So, I want this to be a little diamond, so I want it to be a little teal. Then on the bottom, I want a little blue so it looks nice. There we go. Pretty, pretty diamond right there. And I want this one to be a little sun. So I'm going to click here and I want this maybe a, a, a bright yellow. And I want this uh, thing to this orange color. Ooh. Also need to note that this thing and this thing are one and the same. So if you change this, it will also change this. If you have noticed, there's only two colors. In, the, in, the, in these gradients and maybe you want to add a color or if you want some rainbow stuff in there here's how to do it so let's click on this gradient first and click on this square node don't click on the circle node click on this square node and let's add a new stop so this stop adds a new color that is set to that color you can also remove it by removing this delete the stop yep but let's add one again and I want this maybe a little bit the wider side. Uh, there we go. A little bit subtle. And let's add something to the sun. Uh, let's click on this. And let's add a new stop. And you can actually uh, drag the stop so it actually is uh, more exact Do you want to. I want this maybe a lighter orange. Yep, that doesn't look horrible at all. <laughs> So if you notice, I only chose the colors on the, the palette right here, but if you need to have a very specific color, it's better to use two methods. The first method I usually do is grab an image and use the eyedropper tool. So when I'm doing that, I'm usually clicking using the clicking the object first using the gradient tool then using the eyedropper tool to select one of these uh, stops or nodes and just click a color wherever like this it's so easy I guess just change this to this and just changes to this pretty simple right let me do that on the circle make sure you always select with the gradient tool and use the eyedropper tool to customize the colors there maybe there or there whoa that made it yellow second method in which I usually also do if I want to really be exact about the color is opening this panel and having this gradient thing right here and uh, select one of the nodes either using the gradient tool or the eyedropper tool right? so we'll just change it to that but don't worry about that let's uh, change this to maybe a moon a blue moon right there so yeah I just drag the HSL RGB or maybe CMYK if whatever floats your boat a wheel a CMS <laughs> yeah, I usually use use either the HSL, the hue, saturation, and lightness, and RGB. RGB if I want to be exact, HSL if I just want to just change the color. Yeah. <laughs> and let me select this and let's maybe change 
this and maybe change this nice color into this blue beautiful shade yeah it's easy to customize the colors way better using the fill and stroke panel you can also put gradients on strokes <laughs> no not when you uh, have a blood clot in your brain a stroke which is the outline of a shape so these doesn't these don't actually have outline so let's add an outline let's have a black outline uh let's go and hit the shift key on while a s object is selected and left click on the color and it will add a stroke also you can edit the strokes uh, width using the fill and stroke panel i just go to stroke style and just change the width maybe to five so I, we can actually see it nope maybe 10. yeah there we can we can see it select and shift and click so it actually changes the stroke not the fill because if i don't uh, hit shift it will just color it black always remember to shift click for a stroke so let's change the width of this to also 10. Now they actually look very nice buttons right there. So let's change the colors of these strokes into gradients. So the first thing is always to select your shape first, then change the this button to this button. Select this to create the gradient in the stroke and drag. Also you can also do that control key so uh, 15 degree increments. Yeah and right there. Just like any gradient, you can also edit this and use the eyedropper tool to change the colors again. You can also change the stroke to a radial gradient, but you need to select the shape you want to change and click and drag right there. Hit control so you can have also 15 degree increments, just like any gradient. You can also move it around just like any gradient. So let's change the gradient into something else. Maybe let's go for another blue, maybe an indigo. If you notice, while you have still have the fill and stroke panel still open, if you go to the fill one and select one of the one of the shapes, you will see that there are gradients in these. These are very helpful if you want to have the same gradient on another object. Maybe uh, create a copy of it and change a little bit of the color so it's different. So let's have a shape right now. Let's have a third shape. Let's have a hexagon. And I want the hexagon to have the fill of this one and the stroke of this one. Click on this, click the gradient first, then click this. Ooh, it looks nice, isn't it? Now let's change the stroke. Let's go to the stroke paint, change this to the also a linear gradient. And let's change this into the stroke of the diamond or the tilted square. And there we go. And you can also edit this using the gradient tool again. So yeah, those are the basics of using gradients on Inkscape. So anyways, dudes, I'm New Creator. See you later.